make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We shall now begin our Eucharistic celebration with our priest presider, Reverend Father Jose Duabe. Mm -hmm. Come to the feast of heaven, O Lord. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. He wants the table of plenty. O oh, come and sit at my table. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We all seek peace and happiness. Some people hope to find this in wealth, power, and success. But we know that the human heart remains restless amid all the sources of satisfaction that the world offers. Jesus reveals to us what is hidden to the learned and the clever that true peace and happiness can be ours if we live in Him and for Him. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and all our peace to people of good Take away the 
blessings of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right of the Father. Have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt the fall of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. All will praise your name. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. All will praise your name forever, my King. And 
The Lord is faithful in all His words and holy in all His works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit, you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On one occasion, Jesus spoke thus, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, to you I offer praise. For what you have hidden from the learned and the clever, you have revealed to the merest children. Father, it is true, you have graciously willed it so. Everything has been given over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son but the Father, and no one knows the Father but the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Your souls will find rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May mga guru sa atin at meron tayong nakikilala mga guru na may kanya-kanyang kwento tungkol sa kanilang mga estudyante, tungkol sa mga 
istorya ng uh, mga pilyong estudyante, mga nakababahalang kwento tungkol sa mga estudyante, o yung mga sabihin natin kainosentihan na mga estudyante. Merong isang kwento nga na sinasabi na yung klase ay binigyan ng assignment na, ng book report. At sila yung, nung araw na sila yung magre-report na sabi ng isang estudyante, boring naman yung kanyang binasa. Puro sarili lang ng otor. Tungkol, tungkol lamang sa sarili ng otor ang kanyang sinasabi. Eh, natural lamang na yung sarili lamang ikukwento kasi yung libro na yun ay isang biography. Kaya, yung sarili lamang ng author, ang kanyang isinulat sa libro niya. Pero, iba-iba yung mga karanasan ng mga guro. At, uh, kaya meron din namang mga estudyante gusting gustong maging guro. Kasi, nakita na yung tuwa inspirasyon na nakita nila sa kanilang mga guro. Gusto nilang gayahin ang mga gurong hinahangaan nila. At uh, isang pribilihiyo nga naman para sa atin kung tayo makapagturo ang uh, gabayan natin ang mga lalo na yung mga kapataan sa katotohanan sa tamang landas sa karunungan. Kaya nga ta, marami sa atin ang nagnanais na maging guro. At kung sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Kristo sa mismo ring Ebanghelyo ni San Mateo 23 verses 8 hanggang, hanggang 10 na wala kayong tatawag ng sino man dito sa mundo na inyong ama sapagkat isa lamang ang inyong ama, siya ay nasa langit. At wala kayong tatawagin na rabay, instructor, teacher, sapagkat isa lamang ang inyong guro at yung walang iba kundi ang Kristo. Wala namang ipinagbabawal si Jesus na tawagin ang ating mga, mga tagapagturo na sila mga guro natin. Hindi naman pinagbabawal ng Panginoon na tawagin ang, uh, ang mga biological father natin na tatay natin o daddy. Wala namang sinasabi ang Panginoon na huwag niyong tatawagin father ang mga pare. Ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon so Kristo, siya ang nakakakilala sa Ama at siya lang ang makapagpapakilala sa Ama. Sapagat nakita niya ang Ama at ituturo niya sa atin kung sino ang Ama. Kaya wala nga namang, hindi nga naman maaaring tawagin ng isang tunay na Ama. Ang isang uh, nagkaroon ng anak ngunit pinabayaan naman ng kanyang anak. Hindi ba kaya napaka-challenging nga naman ng fatherhood sapagkat hindi lamang mailuwal ang bata ay sapat na, hindi lamang masustentuhan ng bata, kundi ang, uh, ang bata ay magabayan. Uh, kaya may kasiyahan yung mga tatay na maishare sa kanila yung kanya-kanilang mga interest. Basketball, softball, uh, books, o iba-iba pa. Ganito ang pag-dribble, ganito ang pag-shoot, o kahit sa panliligaw, ganito ang gagawin mo, kahit sa anong sa relasyon, na maging magalang ka, maging gentleman, sapagkat kailangan ng isang lumalaking bata ang isang father figure na maaaring sa mga panahon ngayon ay talagang uh, nandoon yung struggle na marami sa atin. Economic o sa anumang klaseng relationship. Kaya kailangan pang lumayo ng bansa, umalis ng bansa, iwanan ng pamilya, o yung relasyon na, na hindi nagiging maayos, kaya 
maaaring magkulang sa pagiging modelo ang isa na maging, mode, maging uh, tunay na ama sa kanyang anak. At uh, ganito rin naman ang pagiging guro na ating Panginoong Sokristo ay nagsasabing siya lamang ang guro na tayong lahat ay magkakapatid sapagkat may kanya-kanya rin naman tayo maituturo na kung paano uh, kahit na yung salita ng Diyos ay gagamitin para sabihin na siya ay mas magaling, siya ay mas maalam. Kaya tinanong ni Thomas si Kristo na sinasabing ng Panginoon na siya ay nanggaling sa itaas at muling magbabalik sa itaas. At tinanong nga ni Tomas, hindi namin alam kung sa kayo pupunta, paano namin malalaman ang daan? Sinabi nga ng Panginoon, ako ang daan, ang katotohanan, ang buhay ng ating Panginoong Kristo ang magtuturo sa atin upang tayo makarating sa Ama na sa pamagitan ng kanyang salita at ng kanyang mga ginagawa. Kaya, nandoon yung pagiging witness, isang mabuting saksi sa mga itinuturo na makita ang kredibilidad at maging kapanipaniwala ang kanyang mga sinasabi. Nasaan mga kapatid, kung paanong ang ating Panginoong Sokristo ay nagkaanyaya sa atin upang tayo matuto sa Kanya na tayo mga napapagod, na tayong nagpapagal, ay makatagpo ng kapahingahan sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At ang kanyang pamatok ay magaan at kakayanin natin dalhin. Sapagkat mayroong mga pamatok na masikip, maluwag, at ang nagdadala ng pamatok na ito ay magiging hindi komportable sa kanyang uh, dinadala. At sinis sinisiguro sa atin ng Panginoon na ang ipapadala niya sa atin ay kakayanin natin. Sa pamagsapagat ang kanyang ipinapadala sa atin ay dinala niya na. Kung bagay, merong mga pagka, merong pagkakaiba yung boss at yung leader ang isang guro ay isang leader na dadali ng kanyang mag-aaral sa kaliwanagan at pagkakaunawa ng mga bagay-bagay sa kanyang paligid at tungkol sa kanyang sarili. Ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, hindi lamang isang boss na nagdidemand sa kanyang mga nasasakupan at hanapin ang resulta na ito na hindi man lamang itinaas ang kanyang daliri o hindi man lamang nakibahagi sa mga gawain na kanya ipinapagawa. Ang sang leader, ang ating Panginoong Sokrisi, nanguna sa atin upang bigyan tayo ng daan, upang mapagtagumpayan natin ang pagdadala ng ating mga dalahin sa buhay. Yan nga, ang ating Panginoong Sokristo ay isang gurong sumasaksi sa kanyang mga itinuturo. Kaya nga, nandun yung kanyang kababaang loob, yung kaganapan ng, ng propesiya ni Propeta Sikariya sa ating unang pagbasa, yung hari na nakasakay sa asno, ang ating Panginoong Sokristo na pumapasok sa siyudad ng Jerusalem, na ang kanyang dalantalay kapayapaan at pakikipagkasundo. Naroon ang kanyang kahandang maglingkod sa halip na Magling, paglingkuran. Ano yung kababaang loob ng ating Panginoong Sokristo na ipinakita niya sa, sa kanyang mga ginawa hanggang sa pag-aari ng kanyang dugo doon sa krus. Sa simula pa lamang ang kababaang loob na sa kanyang incarnation, sa kanyang pagsasakatawang tao na bagamat siya ay Diyos, Hinabad niya ang kanyang pagkadiyos at namuhay katulad natin. Hindi siya ipinanganak sa palasyo, ipinanganak siya 
sa isang sabsaban upang ipakilala sa atin na ang Diyos ay handang maging aba upang tayo ay maging mayaman. Ito ay pagkalooban ng yaman bilang mga anak ng Diyos. Karangalan, dignidad bilang mga anak ng Diyos. Kaya nga sa ating mga kapatid, sa kanya rin nga, hidden life, ay tinuturo sa atin ng Panginoong Sokris na bagamat siya Diyos, ay sumailalim siya at sumunod, naging submissive sa authority ng kanyang mga magulang. At sa, sa inaatas ng batas ng hudaismo ay upang ipaalala sa atin na ang nagiging consequences ng ating pagiging insubordinate o pagiging disobedient ay mayroong hindi magandang kalalabasan ang tayo ay malayo sa Diyos at sa ating kapwa at maging istranghero sa ating sarili. Kaya nga sa kanyang pagiging submissive, pinakita niya sa atin, ito ang daan upang may pakilala na kanyang kababaang loob na tanggapin ang kalooban ng ama kahit na ito ay magiging mahirap para sa kanya. Kaya nga kanyang salita na sa ating mga tagapakinig ay ating uh, pinapakinggan na nararapat lamang na buong-buo natin tanggapin. Hindi lamang natin ito pinipili o yung ano lamang gusto natin paniwalaan or else hindi si Kristo ang ating pinapaniwalaan kundi ang ating sarili. Kaya nga kung tatanggapin natin ang salita ng ating Panginoon, tayo ay pinopurify at uh, tayo ay uh, nililinis upang mabuhay si Kristo sa atin at hindi na ang ating sarili. Pang dito rin, ipinakita rin ang ating Panginoon ang kanyang pakikiisa sa atin na hindi lamang inaalala ang ating kalusugang pangkaluluwa kundi maging ng ating katawan. Sa kanyang pagpapagaling ng mga may sakit, ng mga na-exercise, itinuturo sa atin itong mga ginawa niyang paghihilom sa, kalo, sa katawan at kaluluwa ay upang tayo buuing muli maging buo ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. At sa kanya muli ang pagkabuhay, pinibigyan tayo ng justification na tayong sumunod sa kanya handang mamatay para sa kanya ay mabuhay kasama niya sa kaluwalatian. Na si Jesus ang ating modelo. Si Jesus ang 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 perfect man na ating nakikilala na nagpakumbaba upang ibigay sa atin ng halimbawa na gayahin ang ating gayahin siya sa pamagitan ng ating panalangin ay maunawa natin ng kanyang kalooban. Kaya nga, ito yung ating nakikita sa kanyang imbitasyon sa atin. Kayong lahat na nagpapagal, kayong mga napapagod, lumapit kayo sapagkat maaaring marami tayong mga pangarap sa buhay na hindi naman uh, maaaring ito ang uh, maging uh, tunay na kahulugan ng ating kaligayahan. May mga tu- guro na nga nagsasabi sa atin na it is good that uh, the children would be taught how to count but, uh, but to, teach, to teach them what matter that count most. Yung ano yung uh, sa atin ay makita natin na mas mahalaga na kahit na mawala yung mga bagay na nakapagpaprostrate sa atin, kung nga pinagsisikapan natin na maaari ito yaman, kalayawan, kapangyarihan, katanyagan, at ay uh, meron tayong kakapitan at yung walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya nga sa ating mga kapatid, 
Napakaganda rin naman na uh, kung tayo man ay napakaraming alalahanin sa buhay. Maganda tayo ay nagdarasal sa simula ng araw sapagkat makikita natin ano ba ang mahalaga, ano ba yung importante pero hindi naman urgent. Ano ba yung urgent at importante at yun ang ating inuuna, inoorganize na natin ang buong nating araw sa ating mga gagawin. Na dito eh, uh, makita rin naman natin ang dahilan kung bakit natin ginagawa ang mga bagay-bagay. Na tayo naman sa ating paggawa ay hindi tayo madrain o ma-burn out. Bakos makita natin sa ating mga ginagawa ay meron tayong nakitang kasiyahan sa ating mga na-accomplishment o tayo binibigyan ng inspirasyon uh, sa ating mga failures. Kaya nga sa ating mga kapatid, ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ay uh, ang ating guro na nagtuturo sa atin ng daan patungo sa ating Ama na ang Ama ay ang siyang nagbibigay ng buhay. Ama, sapagkat siya ay nagbibigay ng buhay at wala siyang hinahangad kundi buhay para sa kanyang mga anak. At ang, uh, ang, ang anak, ang ating Panginoong So Kristo, ang nagpapatunay nito na hangad ng Ama ang buhay kaya dahil sa ating mga kasalanan ay inialay ng ating Panginoon ng kanyang buhay upang tayo patawarin at pagkalooban ng kapato ng, uh, ng buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya sa ating mga kapatid, pinapakita sa atin ng Panginoong Heso Kristo ang kahalagahan ng pagsaksi. Marami sa mga panahon na ito ang guro. Pero sabi nga ni, kailangan pa ba natin ng guro? Ang kailangan natin ay mga witnesses. Map- Mad- napakalaking karangalan na tawagin kang guro sapagkat ikaw ay tunay naksaksi. At makita natin ang pagtuturo natin uh, sa ating mga anak, pagtuturo natin sa ating mga magamaga aral handaan patungo sa ama ay sapagkat nakikita nila ang ating nilalakaran na kanilang susundan sila'y makakarating sa kanilang pupuntahan. Pagpalaan tayo ng Panginoon. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus reveals to us that God is gentle and compassionate, slow to anger and of great kindness. This prompts us to approach the Father with trust as we pray. Father, make our burden light. 
Father, make our burden light. May the Church, under Pope Francis's leadership, stand up to the cause of peace, justice, and love, especially in places where war, oppression, and the culture of death continue to reign. We pray. Father, Father may, may our burden light. May our bishops, priests, and deacons prove to be worthy ministers by their simplicity of life and their words of solace and encouragement. We pray. Father, may our burden light. May the leaders of nations and all government officials work for peace and justice and attend to the welfare of the poor and the homeless. We pray. Father, may our burden light. May those who are oppressed by the humanizing systems, elderly people weighed down by loneliness, and families separated by quarrels and financial problems, find consolation in you, O God. We pray. Father, may our burden light. May you give healing hope and comfort to those who are sick and abandoned by their family and grant eternal rest to those who have died today. We pray. Father, make our burden light. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Father, make our burden light. Heavenly Father, hear our supplications. Do not allow us to be overwhelmed by confusion, doubt, and discord, but fill us with faith and courage through, with, and in Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. Amen.
my brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Jesse our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so we have the courage to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus Christ, pray to the Lord Jesus Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Our second collection is for Social Services Fund. Thank you for your generosity. The Knights of Columbus will again be holding the Watch Your Health on July 30, 2023, Sunday, from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the morning at the Nazareth Hall, Holy Family Parish. The executive medical package is 500 pesos. Registration forms are available at the parish office. Coro Las Pineros will be having a Thanksgiving concert entitled Hurrah in celebration of their 12th anniversary this coming August 12, 7 o'clock in the evening at the Holy Family Parish Church. Part of the proceeds will be don donated to the church and to the group's charitable projects. For tickets, please approach any KLP member or visit the parish office. Thank you. Experience a weekend together focused on your relationship, your relationship as a couple to other people, and your relationship as a couple to God. Join the Catholic Engaged Encounter Free Cana Weekend, scheduled in person on October 28 to 29 at the Nazareth Hall Holy Family Parish and online via Zoom on November 25 to 26. Interested couples may register at the parish office. Admission and enrollment for school year 2023 to 2024 at Sagrada Familia Parochial School is still ongoing for preschool and grades one to six students. Entrance exams for all new students are for free. Opening of classes in elementary will be on August 14, 2023. For preschool, opening of classes will be on August 16, 2023. Please visit the school's website or Facebook page for the, for the registration link. Marriage bonds. Rohel B. Salubre of Rebecca Dulo is getting married to Maria Corinne B. Gorospe at Our Lady of Lourdes Parish, Tagaytay City, on July 29, 2023. Hesper P. Adolfo of Kies Cruz is getting married to Orven 4C B. Lofranco at St. Michael the Archangel Cathedral Parish, on, October, on August 3, 2023. The following couples are getting married at Holy Family Parish on July 29, 2023. Annalise C. Bendanillo and Mark Anthony M. Carino of T.S. Cruz, Teresa F. Furio and Alex D. San Francisco of T.S. Cruz, Maribel a. Arguelles and Chris Christopher H. Silva of T.S. Cruz, Joy A. McCall, and Jonathan P. Gras Gracia of Rebecca Dulo, Annalisa D. Malaza, and Chilmar B. Maunat of Rebecca Dulo. If you know of any reason why any of these weddings should not take place, Please inform the parish office immediately. Thank you. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Can you bow down for the blessing? May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. 
Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our life. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Mary and Joseph, pray, pray for us. Thank you. Good morning.